Now, here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, the Farm Service Agency has approved more than $7 billion in payments to producers in the second round of the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. Now, since CFAP 2 enrollment began back on September 21st, FSA has approved more than 443,000 applications. And the top five states for payments this time around are Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota, Illinois, and Kansas. Of course, through CFAP2, the USDA is making available up to $14 billion for farmers and ranchers who continue to face market disruptions and associated costs because of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. FSA will accept CFAP2 applications through December 11th. And for more information, either contact your local FSA office or visit farmers.gov slash CFAP online. In some other news, following reports that despite the ratification of USMCA earlier this year, Canada has continued to downgrade U.S. wheat imported into that country, and Montana Senator John Tester has urged U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer to immediately reach out to the Canadian trade representatives to help resolve this issue and enforce the agreement right away. One of the major benefits for the USMCA when it came to folks in production agriculture was making sure that we got real value for our grain when it was shipped north instead of feed value for it. Now all of a sudden, Canada's not going to enforce that part of the USMCA. That's baloney. And quite frankly, it puts our family farmers at a real disadvantage when it comes to trade with Canada. Now, Senator Tester says without enforcement, negotiated trade agreements like USMCA will be unable to bring certainty as well as market stability to U.S. farmers and ranchers. Stay with us. We'll have more Ag News right after this.